Hi everybody, it's Ellen coming to you from my kitchen. Um, I have the quick cooker in front of me. Um, if you're not familiar with our quick cooker, um, it is a pressure cooker. It's Pamper Chef's version of uh, a pressure cooker. And I know there's a lot of competition out there, but I'm here to promote our Pamper Chef quick cooker. It is a tool that I live by, especially here in the house. It helps with our meal planning, our prepping. Um, it does a whole lot of things. But tonight, I wanted to share with you a recipe that I'm going to make for the family here tonight. Um, the recipe is the chicken teriyaki and rice. The great thing about it is we make the chicken and the rice together in the same quick cooker at the same time. Okay? So you'll be able to see the value of this product. So to get started, I'm going to um, just take the lid off and kind of show you up close here. So this is the handle to the quick cooker. Before, the, before you begin um, using it, you always want to make sure that two things are in place, okay? You want to make sure that um, this button right here is um, flush with the handle. The second thing is you want to make sure that there's an icon on here that I don't know if you can see but it's right here. You wanna make sure that the icon is facing in the direction of this button. Sometimes this, but this icon will be facing other directions. All you gotta do is turn it facing this way, okay? So those are the two things you wanna make sure is in place before you get started. Because I can't tell you how many times I left this step out and then I forgot, and then it will not pressurize. So your pressure cooker, won't work, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, with the lid off, I am going to get started here. So 65% of your time in the kitchen is spent on prepping. That's actually what takes the longest for cooking. And many people are intimidated by cooking because they think it takes all day, but really it's the prep work. So before you start your cooking, make sure the prep work is done. By that, I mean you gotta make sure you have all the ingredients before you attempt to do the recipe. There's nothing more frustrating than thinking you have everything, go to make it, and then realize you forgot one ingredient and then you don't wanna make it anymore. So, in front of me, I've, I have all the ingredients all ready to go for this recipe. So, I plugged in the quick cooker. So as you can see right here, the light is flashing blue. That just tells you your product or your quick cooker is on. Um, it is not hot, okay? So I didn't start it, I just plugged it in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ingredients and I'm gonna put them all in and kinda get it started. This is the simple part of this recipe with the quick cooker, okay? So I have, um, uh, also too, don't worry about the ingredients. I am going to post the recipe and attach it to this video. So when you watch it, There'll be a link that'll take you to my website and you can actually um, have access to the recipe and you can make it at home, okay? So I have some soy sauce already pre-measured out. I am going to take some honey that I've already pre-measured out here. I also have some rice wine vinegar. Put it in here. Um, I've already pre-grated some ginger, garlic, and now I'm gonna grab my whisk really quick, and then I'm gonna kind of mix it all up together, okay? Right in the pan. Like I said, it's not, I didn't turn it on, or excuse me, I didn't start the cooking yet, so it's not hot. So you could take the pot out if you wanted to, to bring it closer to you, or you can leave it in. This is called the inner pot, it's about six quarts. Um, it's a lot bigger than most people think. Sometimes people think they need an eight quart, um, our family is a size of four, 
but with the way and the amount we eat, it's like we might as well have eight people in the house. So it's a good quantity. Six quart is a lot. Okay. So it's nice and mixed. Okay. At this point, I'm going to put um, the chicken in. And all it is, is just, um, it's bone in and it's chicken thighs. And the fat will be on, the skin will be on it, okay? So if you don't want it on, you can just go ahead and take it off. If you want healthier eating, just go ahead and take it off. But for this recipe, I'm going to leave it on just the way it says, all right? Okay. Um, by the way, you can put a whole lot more in there than I did. Um, I just have four in there. But I have made this recipe with nine. <laughs> so you can add certainly add more in there. Um, here's another part of this recipe that is fun. Um, the, it comes with the quick cooker. The basic quick cooker comes with the pot, the inner pot, the lid, and this stand. Okay. This stand I'm actually going to use, but I'm going to set it right on top of the chicken. Because for this next step, this is our ceramic bowl, okay? And I'm going to actually make the rice in here. So I have one cup of rice. By the way, if you wanted to, you could actually do two cups of rice in here. I have done it. And I will tell you that the rice will inflate, it will expand, so it will come right about to the top, okay? Uh, two cups is as far as I'll go with the ceramic pot. If you wanted to make a larger amount of rice, you can do it. Just add it right here. You don't need the stand at this point. You can put the chicken and the rice together. You don't have to keep it separate, okay? But I'm going to put one cup rice in this bowl. And then I need a cup of water. So... I'm adding a cup of water to the ceramic bowl. Now, uh, people ask me what kind of rice am I using. Um, I use medium grain, and this happens to be sticky rice, if um, you really need to know. Some people use long grain rice or jasmine rice. Um, I use medium grain, okay? So I put one cup, but I'm going to add a little bit more water, just because that's what we do. We add a little bit more water. And then the silicone lid is with the bowl, so you're gonna put it on top. Now, this part right here, between the ceramic bowl, the silicone lid, and this. This is called the wire rack. And this is going to lower this into the inner pot so that you don't burn your hands, okay? When it's done, when you take it out. You don't have to reach down at the bottom. Okay, so these three accessories right here, plus a springform pan, is um, an additional part to the quick cooker set. So earlier I mentioned the basic. When you add the springform pan, this, and these two pieces, it becomes the accessory set. So it's the quick cooker and accessory set. And that is sewed together as a set as well, okay? So, I'm sorry, let me finish off here. This is, it's kind of like a cradle, you know? So we're gonna put this inside the cradle, take the handles, and you're gonna lower it in, just like this, okay? Now you're going to take your lid, and you don't just set it straight like this. You actually have to twist it a little bit. You hear the little pretty bells, twist it on, and then that's your indication that it's secured, okay? So at this point, we're gonna start the timer. So this is a custom time recipe. So you're gonna hit the word custom. It defaults at 30 minutes. So I'm going to hit time, because you wanna set the custom time. And then you're gonna hit the minus button because we're gonna decrease it. It won't take 30 minutes, but nine minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna keep putting my, I'm just gonna keep my finger on the 30 or the, the minus button, sorry. Then you're gonna have the number nine display. At that point, it's ready to go because you are ready to pressurize. So now I'm gonna hit start. That beeping sound is telling you it's starting. 
Now take a look over here. You're going to see the, the lines. It looks like blue dotted lines and it's rotating. Okay. It's going to take some time to come to pressure, usually about 10 minutes. Sort of like the oven, when you bake something in the oven, you have to preheat the oven. Well, the oven takes time to preheat. This is the same thing, same concept. The pressure cooker needs to come to pressure. So it's going to take a few minutes to come to pressure and then the numbers will display. You'll see the number nine and then it'll start to count down. When it's finished, it's going to beep. I'm going to let it naturally release the steam. Okay, so I'm not going to actually push the button to let it release on my own. I'm going to let the pressure cooker release the steam on its own okay so this is part one of the video part two i'm going to come back and then you'll see the finished product okay until then i'll see you later